Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, ingredients, formulations, products, something you may have heard about, read about, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or business or Truth Skin Health products or if you just want to say hello, contribute to the conversation or share a success story, we love hearing those. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. This is your nutritional program, your health program, where we clear up the confusion that is out there. I get confused with all the baloney that's out there. If I didn't have a background in Clin a clinical background, a background in research, a background in formulations. I don't know how I, how I would wade through the morass of misleading and sometimes mendacious, dishonest information that is all over the place. So it's very easy to be confused. I want this program to be a program that clears up the confusion, gives you the straight talk, gives you the straight scoop. That's what we're about on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, you can head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Purchase longevity products. Check out our news stories and blog posts and videos. Got lots of information up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. For a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business. If you're an entrepreneur, it's an ideal business for folks who want to work out of their home, make their own hours, earn thank you checks for helping spread the word about something as powerful and fundamental and important as nutrition, helping change lives. When people get on a, on, a, on a nutritional supplement program and they've never been on one, and millions of Americans have still uh, yet to, to dive into the world of nutrition, when somebody gets on a nutritional supplement program and they've never been on one, boom, the nutrients get absorbed like a dry sponge sucks up water. People notice significant health differences, significant health improvements within days, sometimes within one day when you get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine because the way the human body is set up, the more nutritionally deficient we are, the faster those nutrients are absorbed, especially in a liquid form. That's why people get those kinds of results, the kind of results we've, those of us in the business have heard about and those of us in the business know good and well occur, or even not in the business if you just use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I, I, I'm pointing to that because it's loaded with nutrients and it's liquid. The reason people get those, these kinds of instantaneous, relatively instantaneous results is because the body is set up so that when it's deficient, it just sucks up those nutrients like a dry sponge sucks up water. Anyway, if you want to be in business, in, a, in the health business, in business for yourself, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Got free shipping for the month of December. And uh, I have some new products coming out, hopefully in the next mm, two or three months. Things always take a little bit longer than you anticipate. I'm thinking the next couple of months. We've got four truth treatment products up now and new trial sizes on our truth bomb and truth serum. Free shipping for the month of December. Check them out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we're talking fluoride. So so much to say about fluoride. 
super toxic element that's literally added into our environment intentionally, just mind blowing this concept of adding this stuff to the water intentionally. Fluoride's poisonous nature is indisputable. Nobody doubts that fluoride is one of the most toxic, deadly substances known to man, period. It's the most toxic of, well, it's the most powerful, magnetically powerful of all the elements. There's lots of toxins out there. Fluoride is right up there. It's super highly reactive, especially to biological tissues. Fluoride burns are just hideous beyond belief. Fluoride burns are so pro uh, pro uh, problematic, first of all, because fluoride burns hot, but they're also problematic because it numbs the nerves. So fluoride numbs the nerves and causes burns. So you don't even know you've had a burn until it's too late with a fluoride burn. It burns glass. It burns so hot that if you have a fluoride burn, if a fluoride truck turns over and there's a big fluoride burn, you can't use water because fluoride will burn the water. Fluoride gas is so hot, it burns the water. And interestingly, these, non, this, these, these powerful magnetic properties make fluoride valuable in a certain kind of way for uh, its non-stick purposes. Fluoride is so magnetic that it actually will adhere to what you put it on, and then if you put something on top of that, the fluoride won't react. It, it's, it's, uh, it binds so tightly with things that it can create a, a certain non-stick effect. And this non-stick effect makes fluoride one of the slickest of all elements. It's used in skincare products to create a slick feeling on the skin. There's actually powders that you can buy, fluorinated powders that I can buy as a formulator that will allow me to make skincare products that are super duper slippery. It's a slicker, it's fluoride is so slick that a gecko, a gecko is a type of lizard that has Velcro-like feet that can allow it to kind of climb up walls and hang upside down. Uh, fluoride is the only thing that a gecko won't stick to. So uh, fluoride is, is so non-sticky, not, uh, has such a slippery quality as a result of its intense electronegativity, electro as they say in chemistry, it's, this, it's intense reactivity, simply put, that a gecko won't, can't even walk on it. It's used in catheters and biological devices because bacteria won't stick to it. And the most famous use of this slippery quality of fluoride is in Teflon. Teflon is a type of fluoride. Polytetrafluoroethylene. They call it PTFE. You've probably seen that term, PTFE. That's the F is for stands for fluoride. When we cook with ordinary pans, chemical reactions between the food that we're frying or grilling or otherwise heating and the pan that we're using will create a stickiness. That's why food sticks to your uh, pans. But if you coat the pan first with fluoride, this is what DuPont figured out back in the 1940s, I think, 40s or 50s. They figured out they, if they uh, paint or cover a, a pan with a thin layer of fluoride, the fluoride will stick to the pan and it will create a kind of barrier between the food and the pan and you won't stick. That's how it works. That's how fluoride works. If you're thinking, well, am I getting fluoride in my, in my eggs when I'm frying my eggs in Teflon? Yeah, you probably are small amounts, but if you do it over the course of years and decades and a lifetime, it can accumulate and fluoride is a known, known toxin on many levels. And we'll talk about some of those levels here in a little bit, especially the brain and the nervous system. Fluoride compounds are also used in propellants and canisters. They were until the 1970s, hydrogen, uh, uh, they called them chloro chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. And the, the CFCs took advantage of the fact that fluoride is a great propellant. Fluoride makes a, forms a gas really easily. In fact, not only were these CFCs destroying uh, the ozone layer, that was the chlorine basically that was destroying the, the uh, ozone layer, but the fluoride was coming back as gas. They found fluoride, hydrogen fluoride gas in the atmosphere. Again, sources of fluoride, not good. Fluoride is also used in, um, in chemicals known as R12 and CFC12. You probably haven't heard of R12 and CFC12, but you have heard what the brand name of R12 and CFC12 is. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. As we continue discussing fluoride, the deadly toxin that's in the water, later on we're going to talk about what you can do about it. 844-236-6010 uh, is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. We are back 
on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. 844 236 6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get to your calls in our next segment, as we always do on the bright side. 844 236 6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, you can purchase them by calling 866 735 2470 or off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We're talking fluoride, industrial chemical that wasn't really around until, uh, until the 1830s or 1840s because it was locked up in the earth where it should be. Now, small amounts of fluoride are definitely important for health, and I'm talking trace amounts. It's a, it's a thought to be essential trace mineral. No, no one's 100% sure, but animals that don't have fluoride don't grow as well, and they don't make as tissue as well. So it probably has a role to play in health. The problem is industrial fluoride, waste fluoride. Waste fluoride is produced from the aluminum process, but mostly by aluminum processing, and aluminum processing uh, is a huge industry. We use alu- aluminum in everything. Aluminum is part of our modern world, and when you make aluminum, you create a lot of fluoride, and nobody knew what to do with this stuff, so they figured, well, we'll just dump it in the water. Problem is, fluoride is toxic, very toxic. And it's not just used in the water. It's used as a pesticide. It's used as an antimicrobial. It's used as a, a, a Teflon to, as for, non-stick, for its non-stick purposes. It's used to keep stains from sticking to your carpet. It's found in, uh, in those new carp, carp, uh, stain-repelling carpets that you can buy. I don't know how new they are, but stain-repelling carpets. The thing about uh, Teflon is, or uh, fluoride is it accumulates in the body. So, yeah, you may say, well, it's only a little bit in the carpet, and there's only a little bit in the air, and there's only a little bit in our, uh, in our homes. But it accumulates, and it gets stored in the body, especially in our nerves, especially in, in fat. It's, a, it's just a classic industrial toxin. It's in the form of chemicals called R12 and CFC12, which are made by DuPont. DuPont uh, took advantage, takes advantage, or took advantage of the fact that fluoride actually burns so hot that it will suck up oxygen and create a cooling effect. So it burns so hot that if you channel it correctly, you can actually cool air. And thus was the invention of air conditioning. That's how an air conditioner works. An air conditioner works with Freon gas. Freon is the brand name for R12 and CFC12. Freon is kind of family of fluoride chemicals that somehow burn so hot they can run them through coils. And as they run through coils and the temperature drops, they pull in, they pull in hot air and spit out cold air. I'm not even sure exactly how that all works, but it has to do with, with the heat that fluoride generates. Refrigerators work the same way. That's how a refrigerator works sucking in heat from the environment and creating an emission of coal based on the activity of fluoride, which just basically means more fluoride in your house. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't have air conditioners. I'm not saying we shouldn't have refrigerators. I'm saying that you just got to be paying attention to these things. This is just a reason to use vitamin C and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and magnesium and calcium and other nutrients that you can use to deactivate the toxicity of fluoride. This is why our grandparents didn't have to supplement as badly as we did. You ever hear people say, oh, my grandfather smoked cigarettes and, you know, he ate all kinds of crappy food and sugar and bread and he never got sick. Well, yeah, well, he didn't have fluoride everywhere. We do. Vitamin C detoxifies fluoride. So fluoride's everywhere. Oh, on the upside, there's an upside here. Fluoride's a great pesticide and fumigant. It's used on lettuce and turnips and mustard, mu- uh, mustard greens, uh, on, uh, on uh, kiwis, grapes. Grapes are especially loaded with fluoride. We couldn't have a wine industry without fluoride. So there, I guess there is an upside. It also kills bed bugs. Fluoride uh, is in a chemical called Vicane, made by Dow, which kills bed bugs. So I guess there's an upside to this nasty industrial waste. Of course, it does prevent cavities. It's not going to make your teeth stronger, but it may, may, nobody's ever proven this. It's all just based on statistics and epidemiology. Nobody's ever really proven that fluoride does prevents cavities. So I'll say may prevent cavities. It doesn't strengthen your teeth. Fluoride is electronegative. That, that means it sucks up electricity, basically. When something's electronegative, it has a big empty space that can suck up electrons. And it's the most electromagnetic. Electronegativity is just a fancy chemical way to say something pulls, has a pulling power. 
It pulls electrons. It pulls electricity. You can think of it like magnets, like, a ma like those monster magnets, except fluoride is like an intense, super intense monster magnet that pulls electrical energy. It attaches itself to minerals very eff effectively. And that's, this is why fluoride isn't a problem in the earth, because it's locked up in minerals. However, when we mine, we release the, the fluoride, and now you've got free fluoride floating around. It's not free for very long because it reacts with things. But that's what makes it such, so incredibly toxic. This, this magnetic property that makes fluoride prized by dentists because it allows the fluoride to stick to the enamel of your teeth. That's how fluoride works. It's, it's so electronegative. It's, it attaches itself to calcium in your teeth. And this is the mechanism behind fluoride's supposed dental benef uh, benefits. Dental benefits the dentists seem to love and the ADA. I'm not saying all dentists, but you know, the, 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 uh, the party line, if you will, the ADA's party line is that fluoride is good for us. Of course, the ADA works hand in hand with the government, which works hand in hand with corporations and industry. There's no people in those hands. It's hand to hand, uh, working hand to hand. It's a chain of hands, government, ADA, American Medical Association too, and corporations and industry. And there's no room in that little in that little coffee clutch, that little party, for us as individuals. We're on the other side. They didn't know what to do with the fluoride, so they put it in the water, and they told us it was good for us. The best way to avoid fluoride is, is pretty much to, you're not going to be able to avoid it in the air. You're not going to really be able to avoid it in carpets. You're not going to be able to avoid it in air conditioning. That's in our environment. We're, that's just how it is. That's life in the 21st century on planet Earth and in the United States of America. But you can not drink the tap water as best as you can. Yeah, I know. If you're eating chicken and fish and other foods, you're probably going to get fluoride and orange juice and processed stuff. Yes, but the tap water is the biggest, is the most important and pro prominent source in most of our lives. And if you don't have a choice, make sure you're using lots of vitamin C and magnesium, which have anti-fluoride effects and calcium probably. You can also get a water distiller. You can get a reverse osmosis machine, which we're going to talk about here in a few days. There's also uh, literature that suggests that you can use something called the holy basil plant to have anti-fluoride benefits. You can make holy basil tincture with, uh, with uh, grain alcohol or vodka, and you can uh, get the, extra, the uh, uh, essence or the extract out of the holy basil plant, uh, and you can have, uh, spritz your mouth with it to deactivate fluoride if you've been drinking tap water. Researchers at Rajasthan University in India soaked 75 milligrams of basil leaves, holy basil leaves, that's maybe three pinches, three or four pinches of holy basil leaf powder into 100 mils of water that had a normal amount of fluoride, seven, uh, seven parts per million or seven milligrams of, uh, of fluoride in a liter. That's, the, that's kind of the suggested amount, seven milligrams per liter or one fluoride pill per gallon of water. Anyway, they, they dropped some holy basil powder and reduced the fluoride concentration dramatically to one uh, by one seventh or by six parts. To one from seven parts per million to one part per million. And the holy basil plant also has nutrition in it that can prevent against fluoride toxicity inside your body. Holy basil plant, that's interesting. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We're coming back with more good information and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. We are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, we are your health advocates. We want to be your health and nutrition advocates. In the skincare world, I want to be your skin health advocate. That's my role in life is to advocate for you as a scientist slash consumer because I'm both. I'm a scientist and a consumer, and I hate ripoffs. And I hate dishonesty, and I hate out of integrity, and unfortunately, the world we live in is filled with liars and dishonesty and out of integrity, and nowhere is this more insidious than in the world of health, because it's our bodies they're monkeying around with. It's one thing to be lied to about your computer, your car, your, your home appliances, but it's another to be lied to by the government about your body and about your health. Not fair, dirty pool. We've been talking about fluoride now for a while. It shows up everywhere. It shows up as this meme that you got to take prescription drugs if you have high blood pressure or elevated cholesterol. It shows up as dishonesty and as uh, 
just plain old out of integrity meanness when it comes to the entire medical mo the entire pharmaco medical model. Just mean people. It, com it comes to the how do the, how do drug company executives live with themselves knowing what they're doing, and and, and that's in our bodies. What do they do with the where do they dump their waste? Where do they dump their pharmaceutical waste as they're processing their poison? All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. A couple of interesting stories, then we'll get your phone calls. This is uh, from the journal American Journal of Psychiatry. An ingredient in cannabis that is marijuana, yes, an ingredient in cannabis may be useful. For, uh, also hemp, an ingredient in hemp and cannabis, a uh, hemp and marijuana cannabis may be useful for treating psychosis, according to a new study. What is this miracle ingredient that can treat psychosis? It's called CBD. And almost every day we learn more and more about how powerful CBD is for, uh, for brain health, mental health issues, for uh, the health of the skin, for the health of the liver, for blood sugar control, for anti-seizure. It has anti-seizure properties. It's just amazing stuff, CBD. And we got to get over this silliness about marijuana and illegal drugs. Just nonsense. The war on drugs is just stupidity. Oh, my God, is it stupidity. Oh, but do you want people shooting up heroin everywhere? They're already shooting up heroin everywhere. And we got a war on drugs. Except now, we got jails that are filled with these people. We jail more people in the United States of America than any other, any other country in the world, including the Soviet Union, or Russia, I should say. So anyway, CBD, amazing stuff. I'll be working, I'm going to be hopefully coming up with some CBD skin health products here uh, in the future. I've been playing around with CBD for the skin now for a couple of years. From the Journal of Pediatrics, higher blood sugar in early pregnancy raises baby's heart defect risk. Moms to be... You're not out of the woods simply by getting on your, new, your uh, prenatal supplement. You're not out of the woods just because you're doing your omega-3 fats as far as keeping your baby healthy and strong. You've got to watch out for the sugar, especially the refined sugar that come in soda pop and, and processed foods and candy bars and such. All sugar, really. Even, even rice gets turned into sugar, but especially the processed food. Moms-to-be. It's... Just as important that you supplement with nutrients that help your body process sugar, sugar as it is that you pro, uh, use nutrients that help build the baby. Every, you know, if you've been listening to this program anyway, you know about omega-3s for the baby. You know about iodine for the baby. You know about good protein for the baby. But helping your body handle sugar is just as important, and that's where chromium and vanadium and niacin and the B-complex come in. Where do you get those? Longevity. All moms-to-be should be on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I know of no other supplement that is as well-rounded both for mom and for baby. So if you're wondering out there, and I get this question sometimes, I'm going to get pregnant. Should I take the BTT? No, you must take the BTT. Not should I. You must, as well as other nutritional supplements. And your prenatal vitamin is a drop in the bucket of the nutrition that you and your baby need. It's just there to keep horrible diseases from showing up. But it's not going to build a healthy baby like a good nutritional supplement program will like laying off the sugar will, and by uh, like using nutrients that help your body process sugar will. All right, 844 is our number. Let's go to Maria, my friend Maria from Got Meals. Hey, Maria. Hello, are you there? Ben. How are you? Good morning. Nice to talk to you. Let me, let me set this up for our listeners, okay, Maria? Maria has, sure, a, go right ahead. Maria has a company called Got Meals. And she was kind enough to send me some of her product, and I found it very interesting and delicious. And I told Maria that she should come on my program and tell, tell the listeners about her website and about your, uh, about your product. And also, I want to remind our listeners out there, I know I have a lot of entrepreneur listeners who have businesses and who have products and things that they've invented or things that, they've sold, or that they're selling that have to do with health. And if it's something that's interesting, I will invite you to come on the show and talk about your product or your service, if it's health-related, and if it's interesting. I, I have to find it believable and interesting. I'm the, I'm the judge. So if I don't find it believable and interesting, I'm not going to share it. I'm not going to, you know, I won't share it on the air or talk about it on the air. But if I do find it believable and interesting, I would invite you to at least contact me and then see what I think, and then we can get you on the air and have you promote your business as well. And that's what we're going to do with Maria from New Haven, Connecticut, and her company is called Got Meals. So... Tell us a little, bit, a little bit about what you're doing, Maria. I would love to. Um, a very informative show, too. Uh, kudos to you, always. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Love your topic, Ben. Thank you. I appreciate so, that. Marie. Great. So Got Meals is a single-serve, BPA-free, and it's fresh food 
their whole food in a pouch. And whole whole food, like, let's, uh, let's say in a sentence, whole foods in a pouch, and the pouch is clean. It doesn't have any plastics or BPA and that kind of stuff. Exactly. Did I say that right? And you just rip the you thing open it. and you just cook it. Exactly. And you mic it. You microwave it or you heat it somehow if you don't want to use a microwave. That's right. So now what's, a lot what's of our the, consumers boil it. So what's the advantage to doing this? So what you want to do is you want to avoid, as all your listeners know, sugars and synthetics, chemicals, food that is on um, the manufacturers are putting in our, our foods that are making us sick. We are human um, beings, and we're conditioned by nature. We're going to get hungry, and if our fingernails are attached to our bodies, we'd eat those. So these are quick and easy. They're made for you to just um, go to your refrigerator, pull out a single-serve pouch. Mm. And, you know, the future is here, Ben. We are consumers. We're reading labels. These are seven ingredients or less. And so they're single-serve because... Everyone is eating their meals on the go, alone. They don't, they're trying to eliminate that food waste. You go to the store, you come home with bulk ingredients, and you end up throwing it all away. So you're buying too much that you don't need. It's sitting in your refrigerator. And by that point, then most of the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, are decreased significantly from the time they were um, obtained by the crop pickers. We want our food from crop pickers, right? So you, you're, well, let me get, uh, understand this. Your food comes right from, the, right from the farm and it gets packed right away, right? Correct. Okay, so you're, you're eliminating that process where nutrients can get, uh, nutrients can volatilize or, or just break down over time as, as a food goes from produce down the, down the whole pipeline to get to the supermarket, to get to the store. If it goes from the farm to the store, you're eliminating all those steps so you keep the nutrients, correct? That's correct. Well, in some cases. So when things are in season, that's when we want to um, make them and manufacture them. But we're doing them by a Maria, revolutionary... Maria, I don't mean to cut you off, but we're out of time here. What's your website so people can get more information? So we're gotmeals.com, G-O-T-M-E-A-L-S.com. Gotmeals.com. Thank you. Soon. Thank you Thank so you. much, Maria. Talk to you soon. Gotmeals.com. That's Maria's company. We'll get to your phone calls when we come back from our break. I'm Farmer Suspend. You're listening to The Bright Side. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Farmer Suspend. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Let's go to Elizabeth in California. Good morning. Welcome to The Bright Side, Elizabeth. Yo, Elizabeth. Do we have Elizabeth? Hello? No Elizabeth. Okay, I'm going to put Elizabeth back on hold, and we'll go to Tom in Fairfax, Minnesota. Hello, Tom. Okay, so I would say we got a phone problem here. Are you oh, there, my man? Uh, board, man board op? I think we have... Yeah. Could you, we got Tom? Could you hear Hold on me? a second here. Yeah. Hey, Tom. Oh, there is Tom. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Thomas. Good morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, good morning. Uh, can you hear me without the speakerphone? I hear you loud and clear. What's going on? Okay, okay. Uh, here's my problem is these uh, nasty allergies. Uh, I can hear it in your uh, voice, uh, Thomas. We're, now, you're in, uh, uh, you're in Minnesota. Uh, what's yeah. it like out there in Minnesota? Is it cold yet? Yeah, uh, you know, it's going to be 40 today. That's a nice okay. day up here. Okay. Don't stay that way. All right, here's the deal. Do but, your, uh, is there, is there yeah, anything let me... that'll shrink a polyp? <laughs> Yeah, po is it a polyp or an allergy that you have? I've got both. So okay, I'll let you well, do the talk and you can ask questions. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's talk about the allergies first. Anytime you have snottiness, mucus, runny nose, runny eyes, your body's reacting to something. It's called an allergic reaction. And whenever you have a huh? reaction, you got an action. A reaction is a response to an action. So your job is to figure out what the action is. Now, one of the actions that can cause this is something that you, you're breathing in. And that happens with pollen and stuff in the air, and that can definitely occur. Uh, but the most likely reaction or action that causes a reaction is going to be to something you're eating. That's always the first thing to do or first thing to check. Uh, if you f have flare-ups in your, in your uh, allergic reaction, your mucus, your runny, runny nose, your snottiness, whatever, if you have flare-ups, that's awesome. That's great information. 
because then you can backtrack to what, what you did an hour, two hours, four hours, five hours before you have the flare up. And you'll notice over the course of a day or two or three days of checking with your flare ups that something, there are things that are in common. You'll notice that, oh my gosh, every time I have milk or cheese, I get snotty. And this is very common in children. Or every time I have legumes or peanuts or certain kinds of protein. So you want to link it to food. That's the first thing always. The fact that you have polyps, polyps usually indicate some problem with your blood sugar. When cells grow incorrectly, that, can, that means toxicity generally, but it could also be blood, blood sugar is the most, most likely suspect. Growth, skin tags, polyps, fibroid cysts. These are all a common way the body responds to problems with sugar and insulin. That makes sense? Okay. Follow me here? Uh, you got so, a little bit of a high uh, blood sugar. That's, they're connected. And just because it's a yep. little bit is just when they tested it as a little bit, but you may not handle the sugar, or you may not be handling your sugar correctly, or your insulin may be so high that your sugar is staying stable. So you got to check that whole, t- you got to take the whole picture. It's not just blood sugar, but it's also insulin, and basically it's the way you eat. So it really does boil down to the way you eat. And this is very good news, because while we don't want to change the way we eat, because eating such a pleasure, and we get addicted to our foods, it represents an option. It represents a point of power that will free you from the medical model. Yeah, I understand that you don't, you know, we have our favorite foods and we don't want to lay off of them, but if you've got a polyp and you're, mu- and you're snotty and mucusy and your life is miserable, and by the way, polyps get, and mucus is, are, are red flags for further deterioration of your body, so while the polyps and the, and the mucus may be uh, you know, the most troublesome issue that you notice, you're falling apart in the inside too. And I understand that laying off like foods... Well, that's what's happening. And I, I, yeah, I, I, understand. I don't mind laying off all foods right now. They're doing it. They taste anything. That's perfect. So, fast. Fast for three days. Watch what happens to your symptoms. If you can uh, fast just for three days. Water fast? Just a water fast. If you can fast okay. for three days and you notice your symptoms subside, which typically they will, then you know. Now, now you're on the right track. You can do something. Why is this important? Because it frees you from the doctor. It frees you from the medical model, which can do nothing anyway except drug you. There's nothing a doctor can do. Maybe drug your immune system. But they can't really help solve the problem. So you freeze yeah, you from the doctor. Fruticose. Fruticose What's that? Don't work. Very good. What, they, what are they you a steroid. They'll oh, yeah, just steroid. steroid. Flucosone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flucoside or flucosone or some yeah, son yeah, or side. It does, it's silly. It's the stupidest medical strategy of all. Dermatolo- or, uh, uh, immunology and dermatology have used the same tired old strategies for decades. Instead of addressing the real problem, which is what is getting into the system that's activating the immune system. So anyway, I'd be focusing on food. Now, vitamin C has wonderful immune-boosting properties. High doses of vitamin C would probably be a good idea for you. Zinc is also very important for the immune system. Start taking 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. I'd also be throwing in 400 IU of vitamin E a day. I would be also using all uh, the Healthy Start Pack, all three longevity of the three main longevity products, the uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Ultimate EFA, I'd probably use the Ultimate EFA Plus, actually. And then uh, the Beyond OsteoFX. I'd probably throw in the Fucoid Z. If you want to toss one more thing in, get on a good probiotic supplement like the Nightly Essence and support gut health. Tom, I'm going to let you go. I want to get to some more calls. Thank you so much for, Thank for your you. call from Minnesota. Sure. hope we helped you out. Let's see if we get Elizabeth back on. Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, I am. There you are. Hi, Elizabeth. Good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm good. What's going on? Um... I I had started with Dr. Wallach's products, and I have I have the tangy tangy tang the, the, the tang tangy tangerine. tangerine. Yes, I got you. Um, BTT. I have I have the toxic. What are they called? Detox pills. What What are we trying pills. to do here, Elizabeth? Before you go into that, what are we trying well, to do? What, what's going on? My kidneys had failed mm. um, over ten years ago. And are you on dialysis? Are you on dialysis? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, so you want to get um, off dialysis? Oh, God, definitely. Strengthen definitely. your body. Do not look at this as a kidney problem. Look at it as a body problem. This is so important for you, Elizabeth. Forget your kidneys. Focus on your body. You have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do you know who he is? Bodybuilder? Everybody knows he's you know, the Terminator, but yeah. he's a bodybuilder. You have to be a bodybuilder. Now, I'm not talking about getting in the gym and lifting weights, but I'm still talking about building your body. Does that make sense? You have to have the same mindset as an athlete. Okay. You're, in the, you're in the athletic performance of your life. This ain't no ice skating performance. You know what I'm saying? This is not just a sport. This is your life. And you have to regard yourself as an, a life athlete at this point. That means you have zero tolerance for foods that mess up your body. 
sugar, refined foods, processed foods, McDonald's, even fruit juices and things that we think are good for us, anything that disturbs your chemistry, you have zero, Zippo, not a tolerance for that, none of it. Now, I, I, I hate to be a food Nazi, but for you, you have to be that way. You got to get on a supplement program. You got to start working out your body. You got to start uh, uh, practicing your SDR breathing. You've got that slow, deep, rhythmic breathing, SDR breathing. You've got to learn to calm the body down so it can start to heal again. You've got to lay off sugar. Most importantly okay. is the sugar and the kidneys. Oh, my God. The kidneys filter the blood. Kidney disease is nothing more than messed up blood, dirty blood, toxic blood. Without toxic blood, you don't have kidney disease. So it's a question of keeping your blood clean, keeping the bad stuff out and the good stuff in. If you want nutrients, you're looking at nutrients, get on that Healthy Start Pack as soon as possible. Get on the, chrome, uh, the, the Sweeties also, the no Ultimate Niacin, the Ultimate Selenium, and the Fucoid Z. But most importantly, you've got to have a mindset of an athlete. You're in the performance of your life. Does that make sense, Elizabeth? Now, I, I, I can't... Yes. Yeah? What are you questioning? Well, I hear a little okay. question at the end. Well, the reason why I'm calling was because I did start taking it, and I noticed, you know, within the two weeks, it just really hasn't done anything. Well, sweetheart, and, <laughs> within two weeks, it hasn't done anything. You're falling apart. You're asking, you've you're got baby steps here. You're, you're, you're pro putting nutrients back in a body that probably hasn't had them for decades. And the first part of what I told you, you have to change the way you live, not just supplement. You have to do everything else as a whole picture. Listen, I, it's more than I could talk about right now. You have a choice. Either call me back tomorrow, and I'll get you first up, and we'll spend some time together, and then we can help a lot of people. Or if you prefer, send an email with your phone number, and I'll help you out uh, personally. But I'd rather you call because we can help a lot of people. Okay? So it's, I, I but, would rather call, but I would have to wait till the end of your program again. Call, and I'll get you, you on first up. I call, and I'll get you first up because it's an important subject. Okay? okay. We'll let you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. We'll, we'll, we're going to help you out, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. All right, let's see if we can get Stephanie in real quick. Stephanie in Columbus, Ohio. Good morning. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Um, Hi. I have a um, skin condition called hydrodentitis. Oh, superintiva. Hydrodentitis yeah. superintiva. I, you know, that's like a poster child from dermatological mumbo jumbo stupidity. It's an infection of the sweat glands. And it's off. I mean, it's an awful condition. You have it personally. I do on the bikini right. line. Okay, that's. Are you sure that's what it is? That is what the surgeon has said. Okay, that's an just an inflammation of the sweat glands. It has to do with the body reacting to. Again, it's a reaction. It's an immune system reaction that's occurring inside the sweat glands. It is miserable. You're lucky you have it only in a small part of your body. People have it all head to toe. It's just an awful condition. Uh, again, immune system activation. Immune system activation. Calm the body down using immune nutrients. Lay off the problem foods. It's the same basic idea. I'm out of time, Stephanie. If you again, if you call back tomorrow, we'll, we'll help you out. Or send an email to Ben at ksco.com and put your phone. Number and I'll help you out personally. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.